Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASHTO T84 Specific Gravity and Absorption of Fine Aggregate Fill the pycnometer to the calibration mark with water at 73.4 plus or minus 3 degrees Fahrenheit. The bottom of the meniscus should be on the pycnometer's calibration mark. Ensure that no excess water is present on the outside of the pycnometer or in the neck. Record the weight of pycnometer filled with water to the calibration mark. This is referred to as the pic plus water. Remove about half of the water and place a funnel in the pycnometer. Temporarily set it aside. Perform a cone test to verify the moisture condition of the aggregate. Fill the cone until it is overflowing. Apply 25 drops from 0.2 inches above the aggregate level. Remove aggregate from around the base of the cone while holding the cone firmly in place. Lift the cone straight up. For the first cone test, the aggregate should be wetter than SSD. If the aggregate is wetter than SSD condition, the material will retain the molded shape. Dry the aggregate by stirring and blowing warm air. Run cone test periodically until the SSD condition is reached. If the aggregate is drier than SSD condition, the material does not maintain any molded shape. If the aggregate is dried past SSD condition, add water, cover, and allow it to stand for 30 minutes before continuing. Then repeat the cone test. The goal is to gradually dry the material so that it approaches the SSD condition, as determined by the cone test. At SSD condition, the material slumps slightly, but a portion of the cone stands. Note that materials with a high percentage of fines may slump on one side only. Tear the pycnometer with the funnel. Promptly add 500 plus or minus 10 grams of SSD aggregate. Record the weight of SSD aggregate that was added to the pycnometer. An optional step in this test is to get a companion or second SSD sample. This sample is used as a substitute SSD sample that can be dried more quickly. If using a companion sample, the aggregate weight must be within plus or minus 0.2 grams of the original SSD weight. Dry the companion sample to a constant mass at 230 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Go back to the pycnometer and fill it to approximately 90%. Rinse any aggregate trapped on the funnel or neck during this process. The funnel can now be removed. Roll and agitate the specimen to eliminate all air bubbles in the pycnometer. This can take some time, 15 to 20 minutes on average. Ensure that the water temperature is 73.4 plus or minus 3 degrees Fahrenheit. Fill the pycnometer to the calibration mark. The bottom of the meniscus should be on the calibration mark labeled on the pycnometer. Ensure that no excess water is present on the outside of the pycnometer or in the neck. Tear the scale and record the weight of the pic plus water plus sample. If a companion sample was not obtained, Empty the contents from the pycnometer and dry to constant mass. Collect all aggregate and water from the pycnometer. Rinse until the pycnometer is clean. All aggregate must be removed from the pycnometer. Dry the sample to a constant mass at 230 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool to room temperature.
record the dry weight of the aggregate. Specific gravity and absorption values can now be calculated, including the apparent specific gravity, bulk specific gravity, bulk specific gravity based on the SSD condition, and absorption capacity. Specific gravity values should be reported to three decimal places, and absorption should be reported to the nearest tenth of a percent. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.